So, continuing in this uh, 154 G, D, C. Um, there's a lot of cool little tricks that you can do to accent the chord. For example, we have an open G string, 513, it's the A shape, a whole step up, there's A. So there's a G, so it's 513, 5, 6, 1, 2, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 1. So when you're leading to the one chord, you can go 5, 6, excuse me, 3, 5, 6, 1. So I'm going 2, 1, 6, hit the D chord, hit the C chord, 2 bars of C. And then you can put your pinky when you're doing this, A minor 7 is really a C. So you've got a 5, 1, 3, a D-shaped C, 5, 1, 3, you go 5, 1, 3, 4, 5. So when you're on this, you can use your pinky to pick up that 5. using chromatic notes but I'm not landing on the note so if my target is the one I don't want to land on a one first like that's repeating the one so I go one five four so that's good lead-in ways another way to change up the sort of the pattern is to not play an old school G, but play an F shape G. There's an F shape G. And of course, we're sitting right on an A shape C. D. So it sounds cool to back up from five to four, but it's also cool to back up halfway and then head up to the F shape C. So you go. We have a D shaped G. Five. Then I hit the higher in tone C, so it sounds just sounds cool. So we got it. high G then I'll be on my C one five four now I've got my D shaped G right here
F shape C, G, G. My ring is on the one. Now if I back up a half step, I'm on the three of D, because remember the D descends like a C shape. So I go from the one of C to the three. Three, five, one of D. Now I'm on the three of C. So chromatically it sounds like this. charge for mistakes. stuff.